What's the scariest, most unexplainable thing that happened to you while home alone? About 15 years ago I was trying to sleep when my ex got out of bed to get ready for work. He would sometimes do a workout before a shower, but for some reason he decided to do his workout in the bedroom. I was really tired and tried to keep sleeping. I hadn't opened my eyes yet, but his breathing was getting really heavy and raspy, and I was unable to get back to sleep. His breathing was so heavy and weird I got so mad. I turn over and open my eyes to tell him to shut up, only to find nobody in the room. The breathing suddenly stopped, and I got a chilling feeling. Then I stepped out to find he had been upstairs in the shower. Many years ago when my now 28 year old daughter was still an infant me, her, and our dog were at the apartment we were living in at the time. My wife was at work, I was sitting on the couch watching TV, my daughter was asleep on a blanket pallet on the floor, and the dog, a German Shepherd Wolf hybrid mix, was about 10 feet away laying in the doorway between our kitchen and the living room area. At any rate, I was watching whatever it was that I was watching, when all of a sudden, Thor, our dog, starts with this low level, guttural growling. I figure that he had heard someone in another apartment, or walking by through the parking lot, and don't think much of it. As a few seconds pass, I notice that it's getting point louder, and I can see out of the corner of my eye, that he has lifted his head up off his paws. His ears are perked, and he's looking up at the ceiling over where my daughter was laying. I look up, don't see anything, tell him to knock it off. Right after I tell him to knock it off, he jumps up starts circling my sleeping daughter, literally walking around the pallet she's laying on, and growling more and more intensely even stopping once, and outright snarling and snapping his teeth point all, while staring up at the ceiling. After about 2 minutes of this point and me having no clue on what to do, since I can't see anything, and I do not want to reach for my daughter with him circling her like that point he laid down next to my daughter, rested his head on her back, and stayed there for almost an hour point still intently staring up at the ceiling and occasionally growling. To this day point I have no idea what the hell was going on or what he saw sensed point, but it was extremely creepy to me. My husband recently took an overpasses job to help us out during covid. He's only been there about 2 weeks and works evenings slash overnights, 9pm to 6am. Last night was no different, he left home around 8.15pm. Our daughter, age 11. And I decided to make it a movie night. Around 11pm, I heard keys in my back door and the usual sounds my husband makes. When he comes home, I creep out to the kitchen to make sure it was him. And it was. He told me he needed to grab his knee compression sleeve. Walks down the hall. Says hi to our daughter as he passes the living room. And goes upstairs. He came back down. Gave me a kiss. And left again. We finished our movie. And went to bed. In the morning. When he got home I made a joking comment about him forgetting his knee sleeve. He was genuinely confused as I recalled the previous night. Our daughter confirmed everything I said, and he still was acting confused. I pulled up our security motion camera on my phone to show him when he popped in quick. But there was no footage from the night before, or any other night, of him coming home. After he's left for work, my daughter and I both heard him, saw him, and I touched him. But he was never home during that time. Nothing else out of the ordinary happened that night. We seriously have no idea what happened. Was a pizza driver for a while back in college. Did a delivery out to the semi-country area late at night. This was before smartphones. Was and all that, of course. The road had no street lights, so the only light came from people's porch lights. My car's headlights and the full moon. Finally found the right house, and delivered the pizza to a sweet little old lady. But when I turned around, to walk back to my car, I couldn't help, but instantly stop. There was a strange sensation, that I wasn't alone, I was being watched, but I looked around, and didn't see anything, of course, it was dark af so who knows, I slowly moved toward my car and the feeling didn't go away, it only intensified, it was like I was being watched before, but now I was being hunted or something, I looked around and still couldn't see anything, so... I shrugged, figured I was imagining things, and opened my car door when suddenly I heard a clicking sound, like something was tapping the pavement in the road really fast. I hopped into my car, and barely got the door shut when this giant Kujo kind of evil dog jumped at the driver window. He was growling, and you could just tell, that he wanted a piece of me in a big way. He had drool coming off his mouth, 
His breath fogged the window, and it was like I could feel the reverb of his growling in my chest through the window. It was only after the fact that I realized how close I came to getting the schmalled out of me, or possibly killed, by some crazy bloodthirsty dog. Postscript when I got back to the store. Half the drivers had heard where I went for the delivery and they asked me about the dog. Turns out, they'd seen him before but nobody thought to warn me about it. One night I wasn't feeling very well, and the upstairs had a larger bathroom. Downstairs was an old half bath and I wanted to leave that for her, if my wife needed to use it at night. So I figured I might as well sleep in the guest room. My wife did not have a problem with this as she had work early the next day, and I was constantly getting out of bed with food poisoning. At some point in the night I awoke to the door slowly creak open and a female voice asking if I was feeling alright. I assumed it was my wife, and replied yes honey I'm fine, see you in the morning. But the door never closed, and no footsteps went down the stairs as I wold heard them in this 1800s home original wood floors and stairs. We were alone in the house that night. Back in high school I'd usually be up all hours of the night playing games. I had a large dog at the time that would sleep in my room at night. It was 2am and I was finally headed to bed, but my dog wasn't with me, so I ventured out to find him. I made my way across the house to the kitchen slash dining room combo. I'm standing in the only door frame that leads to that side of the house. We had an island in the kitchen with a stool that the junk mail was usually kept on. So I walk up, call for my dog and see him walk from behind the island to behind the dining room table set, knocking all the junk mail down as he did so. I huff and flip on the light no dog. I freak out, scramble back across the house, and end up finding him in my parents room. I regale the story the next day to my parents and younger sister, who often claim to see stuff in the house. My sister pipes up and goes oh, that's the tall black thing, yeah. Sometimes it likes to crawl around on all fours. Not home alone but upstairs alone. I saw a doppelganger of my mom a few years back, and I think she heard mine. I was sitting in my bed, and looked up, when I heard her coming up the stairs. She walked by my door, looking straight at me with no expression, and walked into her room, and closed the door. I'd said hi as she walked but figured whatever, she didn't hear me, or maybe she was getting something from her room. Then, about 5 seconds later, she yells up the stairs from downstairs, and says did you call me, and I'm not ashamed to say I freaked out. She came upstairs, looked down the hall, and said did you close my door, I didn't, and neither did she. She never closed that door, because one of our cats primarily lived in her bedroom, and so she always kept the door open, so the cat could come and go as she pleased. And it wasn't just closed, as if the wind had shut it. It was fully closed, and the windows were shut. Ma said she had very clearly heard me yell hey mom, come here from upstairs. I had done no such thing. I'm never entirely sure what I believe, and what I don't. But I was totally sober, not tired, and it wasn't some movement out of the corner of the eye thing. I wasn't home alone, but I was awake by myself one Saturday morning in the 80s, when I was around 7 or so. I believe my mom was the only one home because my dad went to the lake to go fishing that weekend, and I'm not sure where my older brothers were, maybe they went with him, idk, anyways, my mom's sleeping in, and I'm in the living room by myself, watching Saturday morning cartoons, and making a fort out of sheets and cushions, something made me turn around, and I saw my dad in his pajamas standing in the hallway entrance with his hands on his hips, looking the mess I was making and shaking his head, he then turned around, and walked into my room, which was just off the hallway entrance. Dude, I didn't even look. I just booked it to my parents' room, and woke my mom up. I don't remember what happened after that. This was around 35 years ago, and yes, my dad was fine. Nothing had happened to him. I was in my college apartment and my room had had just moved out. Her room was directly across from mine with the living room between us. I had cleaned out her room, and then closed the door. I left my bedroom door open, when I went to take a shower one night. My bathroom was connected to my bedroom, I also happened to leave the bathroom door open. While I was in the shower, I thought I heard a woman talking. I had never been able to hear my neighbors talking before, but figured they just happened to be talking in their bathroom which shared a wall or something. 
when I got out of the shower, I was surprised to see a black void when there should have been the bright white closed door of my old room at store reflecting in the moonlight. I figured I just forgot to close the door, and went and closed it. The next night I once again went to take a shower, and left my room and the bathroom door open. But this time I checked to make sure the other door was latched, and the front door was double locked. When I came back out I once again saw the void with the door wide open. I slammed my door closed and locked that so fast. I convinced myself there was a logical explanation. So the next night I once again checked all of the doors, and then closed my bedroom door. This time, I came out of the shower and my bedroom door was open along with the other door. I showered and slept with my bedroom door locked from that point on. I guess this took place over several nights home alone, and I may not have even been alone. Still the creepiest thing that ever happened though. Not really home alone, but when I was little I remember as my dad was taking us to bed, I ran up first to sneak behind my bedroom door. The plan was to jump out and scare my brother before bed, as my bedroom was just opposite the bathroom, and he had to walk past it to get to his room. However, behind the bedroom door was two strange men hiding. One had a beard and long hair the other I don't clearly remember, but think he was very skinny. The guy with long hair whispered to me to back quote go away. So I calmly went away and slept with my dad. Mum was working nights and this wasn't uncommon for me, so he never questioned it. I was rightly spooked and didn't want to be on my own, but didn't tell told my dad what I saw as I was petrified inside. Straight up thought I'd been told off by some creepy ghosts. We were up that night. My brother also woke up that night to go to the bathroom and saw the downstairs light on from the staircase. At the time he thought it was our mother and would normally, if he got up early run down and see her. For some reason he didn't go downstairs that night and instead hopped in bed with me and our dad too. When my mum came home the downstairs was trashed, and she was terrified something happened to us. She ran upstairs in a panic, and found us all in bed safe and sound. Home insurance was able to salvage most of the losses, and we got a dog not long after that as a deterrent for thieves which growing up never had another issue again. I grew up in a very rural area. Our house was on the end of a dead end road in the middle of Midwest farm country. In high school I was in cross country and track and found it easiest to run in the late evenings on nights, when there wasn't practice. One night, which was fairly well lit by the moon I was running the last quarter mile to my house and I saw someone else running toward me on the road from the direction of my house. I live on a dead end road, there is nothing but farm fields behind it and it definitely wasn't my mom running. It surprised me so much I stopped for a second to consider what I was seeing. I remember exactly what the runner was wearing and I watched her run another 5 or 6 strides towards me, before she disappeared or blended into the night like the predator or some such. Now if could have been exhaustion or dehydration I guess, but I've run a lot farther and a lot longer than I did, that night without seeing anyone materialize and evaporate. I never did again either on that road or anywhere else. It was the scariest thing that ever happened to me. I anam ran home crying panic tears and I'm not ashamed to tell you about it. I couldn't bring myself to run at night again for a month. The first time I saw her I was 6. We were playing the opposite of hide and seek. One person hides while everyone else looks. And once you find the person, you hide with them till there's only one person looking. It was my turn to hide and chose to hide under the stairs where my dad kept all the camping gear cause there were lots of things to hide under, behind, ECT. There was only one person left, with all of us cramped in the room under the stairs the last person left, was sitting on the stairs above us, my brother, and we could hear him yelling in his defeat, to get us to surrender, in my hiding spot I could see the door that led out, and it was cracked a little bit, a girl about my age, poked her head in the room and waved at me, I had said out loud, what's your name, with no reply she vanished which prompted my to follow after her, yelling at her to come back ultimately giving up our hiding spot, everyone under the stairs, brothers and cousins, starting yelling at me asking what the hell I was doing, and who I was talking to, nobody else had seen her, and we couldn't find her upon searching, the next time I saw her I had gone over to the neighbor's house, to play with the boy my age, because they had just gotten a new puppy. The neighbor boy had 8 siblings, lol Mormons, all boys and the oldest son had come home to visit. He came into the basement, where we were playing. 
Shortly after I heard my name being called from upstairs by a girl, I had figured it was one of the neighbor girls as it was common to have friends show up uninvited in my neighborhood. Everyone had an open door policy. The same girl I had seen was standing at the top of the stairs. She told me to call over to my house and have my older brother come walk me home right now. We lived right next door. I didn't at all feel scared and just did what she told me right then and there. My older brother was furious and couldn't understand why I couldn't just do the 15 second walk home by myself. I have multiple instances seeing and hearing from her when in the presence of that older neighbor boy, always telling me it was time to go home or not leave my brother's side or be alone with him ever. I'm not sure why I had never questioned or feared her. I was one stubborn child and hated when told what to do. At the age of 8 I was sleeping when I had gotten shaken awake. It was her. She told me I needed to be really quiet and go wake my dad up because someone was outside my window. I did what I was told and went to wake my dad. He got his gun out of the safe by his bed and instructed me to stay with my mom. A few seconds later he started screaming at my mom to call 9 double one. Sure enough there was someone outside my window. When the officers were questioning me, I mentioned the little girl which freaked my parents out. I told them about the girl for the first time as well as all the times I've seen her. They took me in to see the bishop as I was about to get baptized and you to meet with him anyway and instructed to tell him all about her and when I've seen her which started me on all types of church therapy stuff and vows of secrecy for getting a gift from back quote god and blah 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 I saw her on the way home from my boyfriend's house one night in high school I was driving at around midnight through a back road that had trees on all sides I was coming up to an intersection where I had no stop signs but the perpendicular road did. She walked out from the tree line in front of me causing me to slow to a stop just before the intersection. As soon as I stop a car blows through the stop signs just in front of me scaring the hell out of me. I turned back to where she was and she just smiled and walked back into the tree line. Had I not stopped I would have been hit on my side of the car by the person who blew through the stop signs. I've seen her in many other occasions. Call it hallucinations. Call it divine intervention. Call it whatever you want, but I'm grateful for her. I've never seen her and been scared. More at peace. Kind of like seeing an old friend.